So one thing that still amazes me to this day is the number of AI tools that Google is releasing, the level of power that these different tools have and how simple they are to use. is honestly mind blowing, especially when it comes to using them to potentially start some kind of a one person business. For example, Google has a new AI tool called Gravity that can literally build fully functional web app softwares tools in a matter of seconds using a simple prompt. And the best part about it is that it's completely free to use. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a tutorial showing you exactly how it works and how I would use it when it comes to building a simple application that I'm gonna be able to start using straight away. So if you wanna find anti-gravity, all you need to do is go over to the URL antigravity.google. This is what the page is going to look like depending on when you click into it. So as I mentioned before, it's completely free to use if I just click into pricing. So right now it's gonna cost $0 per month when it comes to the individual plan. Of course, there's some other plans, developer, team, organization that may cost something, but for 99% of you that's watching this video, this is the plan that you're going to use. So to start using it, all you need to do is click on download. And once you've done that, this is the window that you're going to see. Now on the surface, it may look a little bit confusing, maybe a little bit intimidating, but trust me, it's one of the most easiest AI tools that I've personally used. And for those of you that might be a little bit confused as to what it can do, at a very simple level, Google Anti-Gravity lets you build softwares, web applications and tools without needing to code. You explain exactly what you want it to do in plain English and it handles most of the work for you from the layout to the logic to the back end. So instead of you spending weeks or months learning how to build a software or hiring a team, you're gonna be able to go from idea to a working app really quick using a simple prompt. And again, it's very simple to use. So what I'm gonna do is build a completely functional web app right before your very eyes. And I'm gonna show you every single step that I'm gonna take. So what I need to do and what you need to do once you get to this window is just come over here to where it says open agent manager. And as you can see, this next window is gonna look like the regular AI tools that you're probably used to in the sense that it's going to have this prompt box where you're going to enter all of your information. So if I just click into models, as we can see, we've got all of these different models that we can use. We've got Gemini, we've got Claude, and we've also got GPT. A lot of these you would have had to have paid for, but with anti-gravity, you're gonna be able to access them again for free. So I'm gonna leave it on Gemini 3 Pro High for now so that I can get the best result possible. And I'm also gonna leave it on Fast as well so that it can go directly into building this web application. Now, many of you right now are probably thinking, Sam, you know, everything you've shown me so far is amazing and I would love to build a web app, but I'm not really sure of exactly what's gonna help people or what I should even build. So what you can do in this case is just go over to Google Gemini and enter a simple prompt. And this is what I'm gonna type in. Give me 10 ideas for the most searched web applications that I can potentially get ranked in the Google search results that relate to helping e-commerce sellers. Now, if you didn't know, I've been an e-com seller for the past 10 years or so. And I believe that I've got the knowledge when it comes to building a web application that's gonna help them out. So this is the way that you wanna think about it. You wanna think about what skills you have, what passions you have, what you believe that you're gonna be able to execute well, and just combine that with what people are actually searching for. So from this, I'm gonna be able to now get an idea of what people want, and then from there I can use anti-gravity to build it. And instantly it's now come back with all of these different ideas. So I can take a look at them, see whichever one stands out to me, but I'm gonna look at this one, which is this e-commerce ROI calculator. This is definitely something that's gonna help a lot of people out because as an e-com seller myself, this is something that I use on a regular basis. And what I'm gonna do is niche down even more and just focus on Amazon sellers because as we can see on Google Trends, this is something that more and more people have been searching for. So now that I know what app I want to build, I could just go directly to the prompt box on anti-gravity, enter in all of the details and instantly it's gonna be able to do it. But if I wanted to give it the best prompt possible, what I tend to use is a prompt builder. And the prompt builder that I'm gonna use is this one that you can see on the screen. It's gonna take me through a couple different questions. I'm gonna leave it, link down below is completely free to use. So let's go through this together. Question one is what type of web app do you want to build? In this case, I'm gonna say that I want to build the ROI calculator just like that and then click on next. But of course you can select whichever one you're building. Question two is who is this app mainly for? So it's gonna be for small business owners, I would say in this particular case. Question three is what problem should this app help people solve? 
I'm just gonna say the purpose for this calculator is to help Amazon sellers by giving them a detailed breakdown of exactly what the ROI will be based on the current fees on Amazon and the product they plan to sell. This is another good thing about anti-gravity that I forgot to mention, which is the fact that it scans the internet live. So if I wanted it to scan the internet, go onto Amazon's website and figure out what the current fees are, it's gonna be able to do that without me giving it all of that information. Question four is what should the user input for them to get results from the app? So it's gonna be numbers or values just like that. What should the app show the user after they click on continue? So I'm gonna say that it's gonna show them maybe charts, visual breakdowns, click on next. Ideal color scheme is gonna be white and orange, similar to Amazon. And which app builder am I going to use? In this case, I'm going to use Google Anti-Gravity and I'm gonna click on submit. Okay, there we go. So with this prompt, I'm now gonna be able to copy it all just like this. Go back over to Anti-Gravity, paste everything in there just like that. Make sure that I've selected the right models and then click on send. All right, perfect. So as you guys can see, it's now going through everything. It's analyzing what I've just entered. It's designing the interface. It's accessing the files on my computer for it to save everything accurately. And just generally, it's gonna go through the entire process of making sure that it builds the best app possible. And what it's then gonna do is start building out all of the code that's gonna go into the back end. You know, all of this shouldn't take too long. Of course, it depends on what you're trying to build. In this case, I'm just building a simple app, but you know, for you, it might take a lot longer. For me, it might take five or 10 minutes, but whatever the case is, I'm just gonna wait for it to complete what it's doing. And as soon as it's finished, I'm gonna be back ASAP and show you the next step. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes and this is a very important feature that I wanna show you with anti-gravity, which is the fact that it's now built out the entire application. So this is what you can see on the screen and what it's doing right before our very eyes is making sure that it works. So I'm not the one that's controlling the computer whatsoever. It's typing in all of these different figures into the price, into the cost of goods. And it's making sure that it's fully functional before it comes back and tells me that everything has been completed. Now, of course, with this, you're gonna to have to install the anti-gravity Google Chrome browser. It's not difficult to do. And again, it doesn't cost a single cent or a single penny. You're gonna be able to install it so that you can give permission to anti-gravity to do everything that you can see, plus a lot more when it comes to making sure that your app works as it should. Okay, there we go, guys. So it seems to have completed it now. As you can see over here, it said, I've built the Amazon ROI calculator. It's a standalone front end only application and it's letting me know the place that it's stored when it comes to my computer. And it's letting me know that it's ready for me to deploy straight away. And here we go, guys. This is the final version. I was able to access it directly from my documents. And yeah, it's actually mind blowing what it was able to do because all I did was use a simple prompt. I didn't give it too much information, but as you can see, it's got all of these different product categories because of course it scanned the Amazon website. It's broken it down in terms of US and UK currency. So if I wanna switch between the two, I'm gonna be able to do that. It's also broken it down in terms of the fulfillment method, FBA and FBM. Again, these are things that I didn't necessarily tell it, but because it's able to use AI when it comes to knowing the best information and the best structure for your app, it's gonna be able to do it without you needing to tell it every little detail. And of course it functions as it should because in the back end, it's got all of the different fees, all of the different calculations, all of the different formulas as well. For example, if I was selling, let's say a consumer electronic type item for, I don't know, let's put this price right here. And I'm gonna say that the cost of goods is going to be this price. It's gonna come back with all of the details in terms of the breakdown for how much it's going to cost in terms of FBA fees, storage fees, referral fees, cost of goods, everything that I need to know when it comes to the amount of income that's gonna be left over. And it's also included this advanced section as well when it comes to if the person is using ads and they wanna enter more information when it comes to sales tax or VAT. So yeah, I'm sure that we can all agree that this is a very comprehensive application that has been able to build. And of course, if you wanna make any changes to it, for example, the date, you know, this isn't necessarily the year that would be best for this application. I'm gonna be able to go back to it, tell it to update it, and it's gonna be able to do it straight away. But this now brings me onto a question that I get all the time, which is Sam, when it comes to building an application using something like Google Anti-Gravity, how exactly can I make it go live so that people can start using it straight away with a custom URL? Now, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. 
For example, you can use this platform over here. This is called Netlify Drop. And basically what this is going to do is you can drag and drop the file that anti-gravity gave you into this circle over here. And then from there, it's gonna take you through a sign up process. It's completely free for you to use. If we just check out the pricing section, as you can see, it's gonna be $0 forever. Now this is quite decent, but there is gonna be limitations when it comes to being able to use it. You're gonna to have to pay for a custom domain. You're gonna be limited as to the amount of web applications you can build on this particular plan. That's the reason why I would recommend using something like Hostinger instead. Now, this is what I personally use when it comes to this particular use case. And the reason for that is because if you click the link in my description down below, it's gonna take you over to the business website builder. And yes, you're gonna to have to pay something straight away when it comes to using it. It's gonna be quite low if you ask me but you're also able to get three months for completely free. And it comes with all of these different added benefits. For example, you can create up to 50 different websites. So you can build up to 50 different web applications if you want to. You're also gonna be able to launch various different websites using the AI website builder. It comes with 0% transaction fees. You know, there's gonna be so many different features when it comes to using all of their AI tools as well. But if I just log into my Hostinger account, I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do if I wanted to make the app go live, the one that we just built on anti-gravity. So I'm just going to click on add website. And as you can see, we've got all of these different options. I can either use Horizons, WordPress. I can use the AI website builder, but the one that I'm gonna go with right now is gonna be the custom HTML website. So I'm just gonna click into it like that. One of the first questions that it's gonna ask me is what domain name do I wanna use for this website? Now, the good thing about Hostinger, another benefit that I forgot to mention before is that you're gonna be able to get free domains for completely free. So if I want to look for a domain for this one that we just built, I'm just gonna type in Amazon ROI Checker.com and right there, as you can see, it's gonna be free for me to use for an entire year. So once I've selected my domain, it's gonna take me through the setup. It's gonna start building out the entire website and then it's gonna take you to a page that looks similar to this. And everything else from this point is gonna be super simple because all you need to do is just click into file manager. And as I mentioned before, anti-gravity would have saved something directly into your documents on your computer. So all you need to do is just drag and drop everything into the file manager within your hosting of account. So you're just gonna click into public HTML and then literally just drag it in there just like that. It's gonna take a couple seconds for it to load. And once it has, you're gonna be able to now view your website. So here we go. Everything is working exactly the same. It's also gonna be fully functional. Let me just double check it. Yep, everything is working as it should. And I'm now gonna be able to share my domain with people. I'm gonna be able to get this site ranked in Google and I'm gonna be able to use it when it comes to building up traffic. And the way that this can be monetized is in a number of different ways. One of the low hanging fruit opportunities is to put ads on the website. Of course, you need to build up the traffic first, but I would say something like this is good to use when it comes to a general lead magnet, when it comes to leading people into a different type of product or service that you might be offering. But yeah, guys, for the most part, those are the key things that you need to know when it comes to using anti-gravity. But I do want to say one thing. Yes, I've been using it for the past couple of weeks or so. I've been testing it out. But when it comes to building things like this, the main one that I use specifically for web applications is Horizons. This is what I've been using now for the past few months. And the reason for that is because you're also able to add sign up features. And I would say that it's a little bit more simplistic to use. Now, don't get me wrong, anti-gravity is able to do everything you want it to do. If you want people to sign up, log in, if you want to have backend features, you can definitely do that. But I just want to give you a quick alternative if you did want to have a different choice when it comes to building whatever web app you're thinking about building. So let me show you exactly how Horizons work. So again, all you need to do is enter a simple prompt. And I'm going to use the exact same prompt from this prompt builder. Don't forget, you can find it linked down below for completely free. So we're just gonna copy the custom prompt just like that. And I'm gonna build the exact same thing, an Amazon ROI calculator. So if we just go back over to Horizons, I'm just gonna paste everything in there just like this. And I'm gonna click on enter. And instantly what it's going to do is the exact same thing. It's gonna code everything and it's gonna take no more than a few minutes. But here we go, as you guys can see, this is what it was able to come back with if I just make it full screen. So it works in a very similar way. Of course, if I enter the selling price, let's just put 100. I'm gonna select 
a random category. Let's leave it on electronics. Cost of goods is 30. We can also select FBM, FBA. So yeah, it works in the exact same way. It's also got this advanced option section as well. But the only thing that I've found is that it's a little bit more simple to use when it comes to the integrations. For example, if I click on integrations over here, you're going to see Superbase. And what Superbase is going to allow you to do is basically allow people to sign up when it comes to using your web app. So this is an even better way when it comes to building up an email list. And any changes that you want to make to the app that you're building, you're going to be able to request it in the chat on the left hand side. So for example, I could just enter a prompt like this that says, I want you to add a sign up feature to this website so users can create an account. Add the sign up slash login button to the top right of the screen. So I'm just going to enter that in and let's let it do what it's doing. And I'm going to be back as soon as it's finished. Okay, guys, I'm back and it seems to have done exactly what I told it to do. So we're just going to make it full screen. Let's make sure that it's working. So we can now see that there's a sign up button over here. Someone can click into it. They can have a login or they can sign up and create an account. And I'd say that's the basics of it. Again, you don't have to use Horizons if you don't want to. It's just a bit more dynamic, a bit more simplistic, especially when it comes to beginners and you're able to build so many different things. Anti-gravity is a good option. It's completely free. You can try it out, but you may have to pay extra fees when it comes to setting up all of these different backend features. But the point of today's video was just to give you an insight into what's possible when it comes to AI. There's so many different options out there depending on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to build a basic digital product, maybe an ebook, there's AI tools for that. If you also want to build some sort of a software, as I've just shown you, there's AI tools that you can use as well. Let me know down below what you're considering to use AI for, digital products, maybe client work. Maybe you're just looking to use it personally. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, you've learned anything, you've got any sort of value from it. Don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. And if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where I'm going to be able to spend a little bit more time just giving you a full breakdown of all of the different Google AI tools, you're going to be able to watch that by clicking the link right there. That video is somewhat of a masterclass. It's helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, you're going to get an insight into how you can start using Google AI tools straight away, even as a complete beginner. So once again, guys, I'm going to catch you in that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.